The history of computing hardware in the Soviet bloc is somewhat different from that of the Western world. As a result of the Kokum embargo, computers could not be imported on a large scale from Western bloc. Soviet bloc manufacturers created copies of Western designs based on intelligence gathering and reverse engineering. This redevelopment led to some incompatibilities with International Electrotechnical Commission and IEEE standards, such as spacing integrated circuit pins at one-tenth of a 25 mm length colloquially a metric inch", instead of a standard inch of 25.4 mm. This made Soviet chips unsaleable on the world market outside the Comic-Con, and made test machinery more expensive. History By the end of the 1950s most COMECON countries had developed experimental computer designs, yet none of them had managed to create a stable computer industry. Computer design and production began to be coordinated between the Comic-Con countries in 1964, when the Edenaya Systema Mainframe Unified System, S, also known as RIAD, was introduced. The project also included plans for the development of a joint Comic-Con computer network. Each COMECON country was given a role in the development of the S. Hungary was responsible for software development, while East Germany improved the design of disk storage devices. The S1040 was successfully exported to countries outside the Comic-Con, including India, Yugoslavia, and China. Each country specialized in a model of the S series, R10 in the case of Hungary, R20 in Bulgaria, R20A in Czechoslovakia, R30 in Poland and R40 in East Germany. NAIRI3, developed at the Armenian Institute for Computers, was the first third generation computer in the Comicon area using integrated circuits. Development on the NERI system began in 1964, and it went into serial production in 1969. In 1969, the Intergovernmental Commission for Computer Technology was founded to coordinate computer production. Other cooperation initiatives included the establishment of joint Comic Con development facilities in Moscow and Kiev. The R300 computer, released in 1969, demonstrated the technical and managerial skills of VEB Robotron, and established a leading role for East Germany in the joint development efforts. The relative success of Robotron was attributed to its greater organizational freedom, and the profit motive of securing export orders. By 1972, the Comic Con countries had produced around 7,500 computers, compared to 120,000 in the rest of the world. The USSR, Czechoslovakia, East Germany, Poland, Bulgaria, and Romania had all set up computer production and research institutes. Collaboration between Romania and the other countries was limited, due to the autarkic policies of Nicolae Ceausescu. The availability of Western computing hardware differed considerably between communist countries. In the early 1970s, they were most common in Czechoslovakia, where a licensing agreement was signed with the French Group Ball. Non Soviet Eastern European countries had more access to Western technology, which allowed them to manufacture more sophisticated computer equipment. In 1983, the representatives of the National Academies of Sciences of the Comic Con countries met in Sofia to discuss the development of a new generation of computer systems. In June 1985 the conception of a new generation of computer systems was approved in Prague, with the objective of creating a socialist response to the Japanese fifth-generation computer initiative. The document planned the development of the IT industry in socialist countries up to the year 2010. In 1985, Ukrainian researchers managed to reverse engineer the ZX Spectrum chip and built a hardware clone using readily available parts. Over 50 different versions of the Spectrum were created in Soviet bloc countries over the next few years, including the Hobbit, Baltica, Pentagon, Scorpion, Leningrad, Didactic Czechoslovakia, Spectral East Germany, and Cobra Romania. In 1985 the computer industry of Bulgaria exported computer hardware to over 20 countries, manufacturing personal computers, word processing terminals and memory tapes and disks. 
At its peak, the country provided 40% of computers in the Comic Con area. After the collapse of Comic Con in 1989, the computer hardware sector in its former member countries could not compete with foreign manufacturers, and virtually disappeared. Tens of thousands of IT scientists and engineers migrated to Western Europe for employment, not always in fields related to their expertise. Unified System Project SEVM, SEVM Edenar Systema Electroni Visigliteni Massen meaning, Unified System of Electronic Computers, was a series of clones of IBM's System, 360 and System, 370 mainframes. The objective of the project, which was also known as RIAD series, was to create a general-purpose computer for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe. Initially announced as a Soviet venture in 1967, in 1969 it became an international project, involving Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, East Germany, Hungary and Poland. Romania and Cuba joined the project in 1973. The first models entered serial production in 1972. According to CIA sources, by 1975 the Comic Con countries had managed to build only 10% to 15% of the anticipated number of S computers. Production continued until 1995. The total number of SEVM mainframes produced was more than 15,000. In the period from 1986 to 1997, a series of PC-compatible desktop computers, called PEVM-SEVM Personal Computers of SEVM series, was also produced. The newer versions of these computers are still produced under a different name on a very limited scale in Minsk. Topic: <laughs> Small Machine System Project. SMEVM, SMEVM System Amali Evam meaning, System of Small Electronic Computers, was an intergovernmental program for creating minicomputers, run by the Ministry of Instrument Making. The program initially included two major architectural lines based on DEC PDP 11 architecture and HP 2100 architecture. Later, the program included a family of DEC VAX compatible computers and multibus based microcomputers. Mini computers developed within the framework of the program were intended for use as computer-based control systems, measuring and computing systems and workstations for CAD systems. As in the case of SEVM, the program began as a Soviet venture and in 1974 became an international project involving Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, Cuba, East Germany, Hungary, Poland and Romania. Topic. See also History of computer hardware in Yugoslavia History of computing in the Soviet Union History of computing in Romania History of computing in Poland History of computer hardware in Bulgaria